The RSS IO test program we just reviewed was a great start. Concerning XML parsing and scientifically convincing ourselves we have properly parsed the data, the RSS IO test program was a success. A better approach exists where a single test program can address multiple test scenarios. If we approach it the right way, said program will be both professional in structure and versatile to use. The RSS IO test program has been rewritten with this goal in mind. Let's take a moment to reload the file. This is an enhanced version of the RSS IO test program. As we skim through the lines of code, something becomes quite obvious. The structural strength and the logical definition are both raised several levels versus that previously shown. The comments at the head of the main function are more extensive and explanatory. That is done for good reason. Well-crafted command line programs elevate efficiency when working with code, data, and networks. This program now involves all three. Our table is a software library that delivers the tools necessary to enhance command line programs in the way implied in this new version. Our table gives us the means necessary to recognize arguments supplied on the command line and vary the code paths in the command line program to act on the arguments provided. Therefore, when we look at the lines uh, from line 64 through 104, we see variables and structures related to our table. They allow us to define our own command line argument names and if someone provides the help argument to the command line to list out the elements and what they mean. So we have a few pieces of logic woven into this new program based on the command line arguments that are supplied. The basic way it works is, for a given command line argument, such as the one that we have highlighted here, if the count variable is greater than zero, then that means at least one argument has been provided. Then, based on any other data that has been supplied on the command line, or other logical conditions, we can take steps to process the data, or, if we detect an error, to then cleanly execute or exit the program based on the identification of the error. And processing data in this way gives us the best opportunity to use one program on a variety of inputs to achieve greater test efficiency. When it comes to the scenarios that we looked at earlier, several elements were involved. We had um, the RSS data feed. We also had the RSS article. And the RSS article has a validation function that is particularly useful in this process. Given the data that we are likely to work with at the moment, we can use this validation function for nearly all, if not all, scenarios that we'll have now and in the near future. And so that function is used extensively in this process. Finally, we have flatten RSS XML to test as to text as a new function and we have broadened and refined the output of parsed XML data to a data file. And here we see the final result of that.